All right, welcome to this episode of Initial DIY Mods. If you have not seen part one of this, you can click up here to get that. But we're gonna pick up right where we left off when we're gonna create our custom RPM theme that we can transfer and we can pretty much apply the same concept to any gauge in our arsenal. So, without delay, let's get started. So we're actually gonna modify this piece here to be a semi-circle uh, piece uh, just for the RPM and we're gonna have that data just in there. So first thing, we're gonna go ahead and put in our start and stop angles. Now our start angle sweeps up to the left and our stop angle sweeps up to the right. So what that means is you just put 90 and 90 and that's gonna make it that half circle. But what's gonna end up happening is of course the gauge still looks like a circle. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and into the photo editor. We're going to edit what our gauge looks like. We're going to make it a little bit different than some of these other ones so it's easier to see. And we're going to put some red there to, to mark up where our red line is going to be. So looking up tachometer display, I found a few different things. So we're going to go ahead and save this one here. And we'll just save that in our general torque pro folder. And that's going to be our reference for that. And then I thought this one was pretty cool, this one being here from an SRT Viper. Now, uh, that's going to be a bit more inspiration than anything, but I'm going to go ahead and do a Genesis version of this. So we're going to go ahead and save that in there just so we have that. And I have a cool little Genesis logo for that. So we can also do that in white, but I think the, the darker theme is a bit cooler. And so I would just back everything up just because it makes it a bit simpler to keep track of everything. Sometimes you might want to change because you might want to go for just a slightly different look. So we're going to start with this image. We need to add an alpha channel. And we'll try and start from the center. Now a lot of the things in here we don't need, so I'm just going to select those. make that our new layer so now we have that center piece in there and then now where we want this outer ring here we're going to go ahead and do the same thing so now in this new layer let's fill that with We'll just be simple, we'll fill that with black. And we'll move that layer to the bottom. So now that that is our background, we've got, this is our foreground, and that's gonna be where our pivot is. It's also gonna be where we're gonna display our title in here as well. And we're gonna to have to go ahead and stretch our canvas just a little bit. So we'll resize it like that. We'll do this whole thing again, which shouldn't be too bad. Now all this allows us to do, we're gonna resize our canvas to that selection. And now we have a full semicircle, but this whole bottom section here is empty. And that is the key. So having that whole bottom empty like that and as an alpha channel means it's not gonna show up at all and as we switch our gauge, now we're gonna have, not gonna have our gauge at exact 90, looks like it's gonna be like 85 degrees, we'll try that, and hopefully we'll get this set up with 8,000 RPM, and then this section here, below seven will be our red line, so that's like 6,800. Now we can always move this uh, more or less or whatever um, as we decide. And that seems to correlate pretty well with the factory Hyundai, which is just below 7,000 RPM is that red line. Now let's get something a little bit more creative in this center section. And now that all blends in there perfectly. Now to work with this white layer, now my plan is to go something a little bit similar to what they had in this original picture, which went from blue and feathered into that black there. That way it looks like it's a backlit illumination. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to our gradient tool. We're going to keep the opacity at 100%. Sometimes it comes out linear and that looks like poop. So we're not gonna do that. We are gonna do radial and we're just gonna pick our line here. Now 
Okay, so now we're gonna fix this angle. Go to 80, we're gonna take that global text radius and change that just a little bit. Uh, we don't wanna go out just so far, so let's go to 0.25. Should bring it in just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna load that in here. We'll copy, replace. Now this one, we have dial background 0C. So you're gonna to go to, for any of the things that you wanna do, you're gonna look up what plugin you have. So if I want to change just the image, the background for the fuel system, I can do this one right here, that's 03. If I go down to engine RPM, I go 0C. That's my identifier for that plugin, that PID. So I now have dial underscore background just the same as this gauge, except now I have underscore 0C at the end of it. So I can take that add that to our file, and now check how it turned out. All right, so here's what it looks like so far. So our data is gonna go right in here. We're gonna try and either move this up a little bit or change it slightly. Uh, the gen coupe getting a little bit cut off by the, by the knob here, so we'll see if we can either remove that knob and just let the, the bar float. The zero is off just so ever so slightly. So what we'll do is we'll just raise that up. So instead of being 80, we'll make that 82. 82 should pretty much be perfect to take care of that offset. And then also you'll notice here that these are perfect distance wise on the left and right, and it's too close on the top. Now also, if we wanted to adjust just the, uh, we went ahead and changed the, the total text um, distance, the radius of the total text which for these gauges didn't really matter because it has no border. If your gauge has a border, you're going to need to go into your property file and you're going to do the same thing here that you did with the start stop angle. You're going to do that um, on your text radius, but instead of saying global text radius, you're actually going to say text radius starting with the lower case underscore zero C and that will give you your specific. So your global text radius will be 1.3 and then your specific text radius for this will be 1.25 and then save that. Go ahead and drop that in, copy and replace. All right, so we move this around just a little bit. Got it centered here. I think that looks a little bit better. So we're gonna go ahead, save it, export it. Uh, we'll export it as the same thing because that file was moved. So here we have those changes applied. Now we've gone ahead and updated the gauge font and also loaded in our gauges from that first video. And now we've changed up a few of those gauges and we've actually reorganized and situated those perfectly for our setup. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Initial DIY Mods. The next episode should hopefully be out in about a week or so. We're going to be covering some upgrades on the differential that we have for the Genesis Coupe. This candy actually kind of looks like a suppository. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit weird, but they're fucking good, dude. Weird-ass Asian shit, man. Got that shit from an arcade. I'm sure it's very unhygienic.